This house is falling apart. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Mr. And the Mrs. And uh, today we're going to be talking about um, the house project so far and how it's going and what we've ran into and how, how it just keeps on going and endless projects after one another. I mean, people do tell you that. People, yeah, people will tell you, you know, when you buy, when you buy a house, you know, there's going to be endless projects. You'll want to do this, you want to do that, you know, just to upgrade it or make it yours. Yeah. We're just trying to make the house functional. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we kind of purposely bought a uh, fixer-upper as, as we're going, but we weren't technically expecting to have a baby anytime soon. So uh, now we're just trying to get the house functional and uh, ready for the baby. Um the baby will be immobile for, you know, at a least couple months. A couple so, I mean, months. So, we, so we'll have we got, that time yeah. to work with. But yeah, yeah, it's just. It's one thing after another. I mean, we'd be uh, <laughs> we'd be starting a new project and then uh, we'd be like, well, that doesn't look right. What What's going on? So we uh, there's a bathroom uh, in the uh, one of the bedrooms. And so if this, so basically this was the first thing we found when we bought the house yes the, One of the uh, first things we went to go fix because they said oh you know you you might have a leaky toilet you might need to replace the toilet so we're like okay that's a hundred bucks and we know how to do that yeah so we went to go change the toilet and then found out that it wasn't level and we're like why isn't it level so we we pulled up one of the tiles and went that's a lot of water that's a lot of sitting water so What's going on? So we kind of pulled up tiles and tiles and tiles and kept on finding that it ran throughout the entire bathroom of just sitting water and we're like oh. And we thought we thought we were gonna have to replace the subfloor and everything. All this stuff because it, it out. looked black. And yeah. I had to like tear into the wall. There was black mold. There was black mold. We had to kill and get that all cleaned up. Yeah. That was last year, thankfully. Yeah, so that was like one of the projects that we ran into. So we have a lot of projects in this house and we are very excited for them we to can tell them how we fixed it. Oh, well, we haven't fixed it. Yeah, we have. We fixed the leak. The leak wasn't even in the bathroom. The leak was actually in the spigot that was outside. right by the piping outside that had been spraying up into the wall and up into the flooring. And running on, it was more running along the pipes up into the wall and up into. Down into the flooring. Yeah, it was, it's pretty bad. It was just a spigot. Yeah. I, I don't know what's wrong with this house and spigots, and it's a yeah. version to spigots. We've had to fit. We've had to fix one, the front one, three times so far, and still have to fix it again because it's still leaking. Finally, and now it's just dripping. It's dripping. We thought we had fixed it, and then it started spraying again, and we had no idea. And we were like, "Why is our water bill going through the roof?" Yeah, and I mean, we've had a yeah. plumber actually do it yep. twice. So and it's just whoever did. The piping. Whoever just, made this house is just bad. Bad. Or whoever. Okay, so whoever made the house in the first place was probably, a, you know, a good builder. It's yeah. It's a good solid home. Yeah. Whoever remodeled it after that didn't do quite so well. No. So when we found out when we moved into the house that there were some remodels uh, done from the previous owner, and like the like, kitchen, the kitchen, the, the garage, the laundry room, out on uh, an yeah. add on. But we found out that everything that they did, they did it cheaply, as cheap as possible, and very poorly. Like the quality is very, very minimal. And you go, oh, look what I found. Another oh, thing. Uh, so, ugh. But thankfully, I mean, we were able to, I mean, within a year though, we've done a lot. Like, we have. We have been able to redo the kitchen completely mm -hmm. which is a huge thing in of it itself like yep. me and my dad and uh christian put in new cabinets took out the old ones put in new ones it was a galley kitchen so we had like less yeah. than four feet and there's nothing on the other side like you don't walk into anything you walk into a wall yeah it was just like it was a pointless galley it's, kitchen it's so silly. We yeah. tore that out and made like a L shape. It's kind of like it's a, a U. U. It's, it's a, a U shape, shape and, and peninsula. a peninsula that we're right sitting here. at right here. Breakfast. Yeah. We call it the breakfast bar. Yeah. Well, I mean that's what it is technically. Yeah. Yeah. 
but so and you know just stuff here and there that we've been able to do yeah we've we've uh create we've tore down a lot of partition walls that were kind of just pointless and they're not really even, random and we have were, no idea why yeah. they're there and um we think they might have been renting out the back room because there's mm -hmm. a door, a separate door to, to get the outside. In and there's no bathroom door. Yeah, there's a bathroom. So it's like the old master that they converted into a rental. So they had like But two, there's still no door. Yeah, there's no door, but whatever. We're going to put there, a door in obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's two partition walls and like a closet with no door. With no doors. <laughs> oh, yeah, this house <laughs> came with one closet and that one closet it's it, it's just like one of those like you know 80s style like push back into the wall type thing it wasn't even a closet no like we literally had to make this well, house was yeah. like from scratch yeah. almost. so i've actually uh built uh partition walls and put drywall and then we hired a, a drywaller to come out in mud and tape and texture which by that far was... just the, that was so worth it. Yeah, the house looks a lot yeah. better, a lot more homey and spacious. We feel like we mm -hmm. can actually invite people over to uh, have dinner and hang out and stuff. Um, the stairs uh, weren't really, it wasn't even like a front a front porch. It literally was stairs. So as soon as you walked outside, you were on your first step and you had to turn around on like a foot. And I was walking down and it had nothing to do with how much room there was but I was walking down these stairs and slipped uh, in the winter uh, and then right before we went to go shoot a wedding uh, Jesse was trying to lock up the house and fell completely backwards. Thankfully I didn't land on the camera gear. And thankfully but... she was not pregnant at that time. Yeah, yeah I would have been very scared if I was. Yeah, so we actually, or while she was gone on vacation, I don't remember where she went but I basically uh, with my stepdad, uh, Montana? Tore... yeah, you're in yeah, Montana, Montana. With, to see your grandma yeah. and we tore out the, um, stairs and built a, uh, a porch, a front porch. Yeah. Yeah. Front porch. So now we have, we have room and now we just nice need to get rain. Area. Yeah. Nice sitting area. Now we need to get railings up. Yep. So that's kind of our project right now. So there's yeah. like three main projects that we're trying to get done before the baby comes. So the railing is one of them, which yep. is just an easy weekend deal. It's yeah. just literally adding the rails because we're buying the pre-made kits. Yeah. Well, not the pre-made kits, but they're kits you just assemble. Yeah. They're really easy. The other thing is uh, in the kitchen, it's not completely done. It needs a uh, tile just to finish off because we built a little uh, cubby for the fridge. Uh, and now we just need to tile it so we can get the fridge. Slide put, the fridge right back. Slide the fridge. Right now, in. I'm looking at it right now. There's literally a fridge in the middle of the kitchen. <laughs> right in the middle of the kitchen. So. Um, and then the other thing is to get up fascia. Um, our mm -hmm. gutters are poor, very poor. They're the plastic. Kind yeah, of like but PVC. It, it, it's not like it's the vinyl, but it's not that it matters vinyl, with yeah. the vinyl. It's just that. It there's was, no, there's nothing to connect yeah, it to. Like it was, they're trying to connect it to the beams. Yeah. And the beams are running the same grit as the as the screws. So the screws are just like over time just falling out. Yeah. And our so, our gutters are falling apart, especially when it rains and we're in Washington. It's going to rain. Yeah. So we're going to start up uh, start putting out fascia. Um, thankfully, her parents had some extra because they're doing their deck. Yeah, because they're they're redoing their deck. And so they're like, they well, said we have extra. So here you go. And we're like. Yay! Yeah. So we're, we're gonna get uh, some of this uh, fascia up so that our gutters don't fall in the middle of the winter. And Jesse's going, I have the baby. I have the baby. There's there's a torrential downpour of flooding in our backyard. So I mean, I wouldn't be able to do anything. There's, I mean, there's, it would if the baby was asleep. But yeah. you know. Yeah. There's I mean there's lots of things that we ran into while doing the house. But then again, we've we've completed a lot of, a lot of the house. Um, this yeah. back bedroom, the dining room. I would bedroom. say it's, uh, it's just a dining room. I said dining room. You said bedroom. I said dining room. You said bedroom slash dining room. Sure. Maybe there's no bedroom. Um, but as, as you can see, it, it is pretty much complete. It is complete. We're done with that, and the kitchen is almost done. Almost. And the living room is done. Yeah, I mean, the we living just, room's done. Yeah, we just got to get some like floor molding up, but I mean, that, that's not too that's, hard. Yeah. It's, it, 
I mean, it's coming along, and after only being here for maybe a year, a year and, and a half, half yeah, yeah, like a lot has happened. But then again, the two back bedrooms are completely torn apart still. No, no, no. Well, not technically. Well, so the only major projects we really have left, like major projects that are going to cost, you know, quite a bit of money and quite a bit of time. Is carpeting those two back rooms. Carpeting the two back bedrooms and doing the bathroom. And the garage. We want to update the, the bathrooms. Yeah. But the garage, uh, they, whoever own, like again, the remodelers, well, owners, remodelers yeah. uh, built a bedroom in the garage, a partition wall. So now if you open up the garage door, you got three feet of garage. And then on they the sealed, other- They sealed it off really nice, which yeah. is good. Yeah. You know, it's but not a problem. This, this room now. in the garage is, you got a partition wall, closets that are too tiny to get anything like in. 20 inches yeah not even 24 which is what why you need. to get into them you're like yeah so it's it's kind of and there's no window it's just no no window it's not no, even technically a room because it, there's yeah. no there's no other exit besides the door that's it so we're like uh we want a garage so that's a project that we have to do that's mostly gonna, for next year or the year after yeah, that yeah and it, it's going to be one of those bigger projects that we have to do but i mean other than that there's not a whole lot that we have to do uh, landscaping the front yard kind slowly of slowly but surely slowly yeah it's, it's coming along you know, pruning our fruit trees getting those sticks then like wrapping them around yes we have so fruit they... trees though so we have uh fruit trees in our in our yard uh we have a plum a pear a peach an apple and a cherry the problem with the apple though is the apple and the cherry have like kind of intertwined yeah and I can't get to them because they're on like they I don't know why they did this but they plant them on a ledge so that you can get to them on another ledge but it's too far away and you can't like reach over and grab it yeah so, so we're gonna it's have very to like inconvenient we need to find a way to actually get to them next like, year chop it like tr prune it down like crazy but with the plums and then, like try yeah. to separate them yeah with the plums Jesse actually made a uh, plum jam yeah, and, it's delicious. Oh, that was so good. We really, still have a couple. Yeah, we have a little bit. Um, and then we have uh, peaches. The peaches were a little bit bad, so we ended up, uh, or Jesse ended up uh, freezing. freezing them, mushing them up and freezing them. So she's going to make a jelly out of that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and our pears are not quite done. They're late fall pears. They are late fall. So they're going to take a little while. They're almost done. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for those, though, because I've never really been a pear fan but i feel like hey free food yeah free pear. i love pears. i think i'll change my mind so pear, pears would be very good yeah and you actually had the plums and you like the plums i like the plum jam plum jam yes i'm not a normal i'll eat prunes which doesn't make any sense i'll eat prunes but i'm not a big fan of plums interesting yeah but i mean so our house is shaping up pretty well mm -hmm. overall i mean it's a it's a slow going process and it costs money and costs time, but I mean, and it's just a bunch of little stuff yeah. from now on, really. Besides like the two main projects. Yeah, I mean, we do want but. to like maybe update our bathrooms and possibly in our bedroom uh, build it in a walk-in closet and maybe make a master bath mm -hmm. in there as well. But who knows? Um, that really just depends over time. And Depends on if we, you know, how long we're going to be and, here and when we want to sell and yeah. stuff. Um, but so far, it's a very nice, quaint little. Everyone who comes over says it's very homey. Which yeah, I very, definitely like. That's what yeah. I want it to feel like. It's homey and cute. So, I mean, so, I that is exactly what we want. Yeah. And if people feel warm and invited, then that's what we want. So, mm -hmm. it's, it's going well. Yeah. Um, so, it's been a, a good good starter home um other a lot than, of work yeah what home is it yeah so uh tell us if you have a home project that you're working on or if there's a home that you would like to buy or something that you would like to do go ahead and drop or it or if you or have an apartment an apartment and you have really cute like do you do it yourself ideas yeah. for like you know, a mudroom addition or something like that yeah go you ahead know, and drop us like ideas that you would like that you like um, in general, maybe we'd like the idea and we want to do it. And I'll be adding a ton well. more to the home section on Pinterest. Yes. I'm kind of a Pinterest fiend. <laughs> Very much so. So if you're interested for more information or future videos, just subscribe below yes. and 
to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> to our channel. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Uh, wow. Follow us on Twitter and like us on uh, Facebook as well. And we will see you next week. Bye. Adios. Kick me. Don't kick mama. Do we want to do a Twitter? I, I'm working on the Twitter. Okay. Yeah. So I, like, I, I don't do Twitter. No, I go on Twitter and I'd be like, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's just like, it's coming along slowly but surely. Okay, because I'm like, I have no idea how to Twitter. Don't. If, if you know how to Twitter, well, hook me up because I don't know how to Twitter. If you know how to tweet. 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 <laughs> See, she needs help with vocabulary for uh, Twitter. I don't even know. I don't even know Twitter. Teach us. Teach us about Twitter, please. please. <laughs> Twitter painted. Twitter painted? Dude, Bambi. Twitter painted. <laughs>